welcome back my real latas as you can see i have some hot cheeto fried shrimp and some fried corn i've never had either one of these so we're gonna try this out tonight this is dinner before bed I had to step out for a second so that's why i'm still done up you know, but I'm getting ready for bed. Shower, then bed. So let's say our prayers and we're going to get right into our meal. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food which we are about to receive. Put nourishments into our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh huh. Guys, this was difficult for me because I've never done this before. So we dredged our shrimp. We lightly seasoned the shrimp in, um, Slap your mama seasoning, Cajun, Cajun seasoning, and lightly seasoned it. We did an egg wash, just um, milk and eggs, and uh, put some flour in the hot Cheetos after you, you know, grind them up and make it all powdery, the hot Cheetos. And uh, that was it. We didn't do too much. So, and then we re dipped, it, re -dipped them in a different batter of hot Cheetos. See how that look, y'all. That's good for a first time. Mm-hmm. And our corn, we also um, dip that <clears throat> in some um, egg wash, egg and milk, and we battered it with fish fry season the original one we have one that was already seasoned but i seasoned my corn in old bay seat old bay seasoning before i put it in the fish fry so i switched fish fries i didn't use the seasoned fish fry for the corn because i didn't want it to be over seasoned and if you guys know old bay seasoning it does have a a salty flavor to it so we didn't want it to be too salty so we chose to use the other fish fry seasoning instead of the seasoned fish fry seasoning. Shrimp. I'm kind of sitting low. My plate is up high. I'm trying to work on you guys seeing the food in my video the way my setup is. I know I didn't take the, the tails off. We left the tails on. We got um, peeled, deveined, and tails on large shrimp from Walmart. They don't ever look large. They look little to me. Jumbo costs too much, and I'm on a budget. So, if I can get some money rolling in, then we can buy some bigger shrimp. You feel me? I do. I want all the meat out the tail. Okay? I do. You should take the tails off then. Then you can't have all the meat in the tail. Now I got a waste basket. I'm putting it in my plate and my waste basket. Yum <laughs> turns out really nice. Really nice. Mm hmm. They did. Those turned out lovely. Mm -hmm. And I waited a while before I started this video because I wanted to make sure my corn was cooled down before I started eating it. A bowl of ice for my drink and I think my ice is about stuck stuck together I got some vitamin water over here that I've been drinking on so it's 
room temperature now. Y'all, I love vitamin water. This is the Focus Kiwi Strawberry. If you like vitamin water, I suggest you go get this Kiwi Strawberry. Focus. I like to keep my focus. Let's focus on eating this food. Mm-hmm, y'all. That is real good. Today is my god sister's birthday. If anybody's watching this video besides her, <laughs> wish her a happy birthday. Her name is Nini. Nini, Nini, Nini. She's the one who taught, told me about fried corn. I've never had fried corn before, so this will be the first time that I'm trying fried corn. Let me see. Got to pull my plate up to myself. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Y'all excuse the frame because I'm so up close and personal. The way my setup is, y'all gonna get it the way y'all gonna get it. That was good. That was good. Happy birthday to Nini. Happy birthday to Nini. And I'm going to upload this video tonight just for her. Usually I wait the next day or I try to wait the next day to upload the videos. But I have enough time before I go to bed to do it. This whole thing right here, this whole shebang is delicious, y'all. I don't know why I was thinking my corn was going to be juicy and I fried it. I'm like, this should be juicy. It's not juicy. But it is crispy. I cooked a bag of shrimp and then I split the bag of shrimp between me and my daughter. But she reminded me that we have another bag of shrimp in there and another pack of frozen corn in there. And I also have some pink salmon fillets in there. So I might be making that for the weekend and do another video. Y'all, not all my videos are going to have food in it. If it do, then big ups to me because I'm more of a snacker versus an eater. Like I cook, but I can snack on other things all day. And I can go days without eating meat, so... Yeah, I might do some snack videos. <clears throat> I gotta go. Shit won't come up yet. <clears throat> there we go. Let's eat the other corn. Mm. 
Let's eat the other card. I don't know if the camera is doing this any justice, but I sent the picture to Nene, and she said the card came out pretty. She said it was pretty, y'all. I don't know. I've never done it before. So I'm falling off. I was up in the nose. <laughs> I'm glad I put a towel over my lap. I really don't have much to talk about in this video, but to let you guys know that I've tried this for the first time. And uh, I like it. Oh, I want to say something. This might sound like I'm a, <coughs> a uber dork, but I want to give a shout out to Steph and Tasha. My nickname is also Tasha, but I didn't use Tasha for the, for the YouTube channel because it's too many Tashas. Shout out to uh, Steph and Tasha. They have uh, posted a, um, a message yesterday or last night on YouTube saying that, um, that they were going to bed. They was going to record a video, but they didn't. And they wanted us to know, their viewers, that they love this. And I just put in the um, uh, comment section some emojis. I think I put some sleeping emojis and some hugs and kisses. That's what I put. That was it. And in my zillion years of being on YouTube, nobody has ever, well, the person of the YouTube channel has never responded to any of my comments in the comment section. And they gave it a heart. And I want to say I appreciate that because I am a loyal viewer. Um, not loyal. Can't say loyal because there's other things that go on in my day. And I can't always get to everybody's videos, not even B-Love. And I've been following B-Love forever. So, um, shout out to Steph and Tasha. If y'all don't know who Steph and Tasha are, check out their page their youtube page if i can remember i will put the link down in the description box or i will re-edit the video later to put it down in the description box so go check out steph and tasha beautiful couple um my girls tay and lou i'm still messed up in the brain they didn't want to you know subscribe to my channel you know so i'm still messed up you know you know tay kind of look like she could be bruno mars's little sister don't y'all think that i mean that girl is beautiful she is so pretty and, and bruno mars is very handsome to me he's a nice looking guy by the way so yes tay look like she could be bruno mars's little sister i have put that in the comment section several times but it's been overlooked by the thousands of comments that are in there and they're not just gonna see my comment especially when i'm commenting um hours hours after the video was uploaded or <clears throat> days later because i'm just now seeing a video you know um yeah i wish i had the coldest water bottle in the building you know what i'm saying but uh 
We ain't got no money for that right now. We got bills and responsibilities. My coldest water about to come from these ice cubes that come out of my cold freezer until we can get us a coldest water bottle. Uh-huh. I'm not finished. I'm going to eat my shrimp. I just have corn in my tea. And I wanted to stop and give a shout out to Steph and Tasha. Steph and Tasha. Steph and Tasha. Steph and Tasha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hope they follow me back or subscribe to my channel. If they ever see this video. Hi, y'all. Hi to the YouTube world, not the YouTube community. The YouTube world. That's what I'm calling it. The YouTube world because it's been around for a long time. It didn't any no one thought that it would go to this level of success for people. Shout out to YouTube. I've loved you guys for a long time. Very long time. Very long time. Get back to some of these shrimp. These shrimp are almost gone. I should have took more. My daughter waited for this. She took it out the freezer a day ago. And I was like, you wasn't supposed to take this out. This stuff was for my video. I said, now I gotta record my video early. I was trying to do them on the weekend, but I feel like it was meant to be, so let's record a video. Let's fry it up and record a video. I ain't never done it like this before. Never. And it don't taste like hot Cheetos. And we re dipped them in the other Cheeto batter without the flour and the residue from the egg. I've, a lot of you guys said that on in y'all videos for the hot Cheeto challenge or hot Cheeto fried, whatever, a lot of you said that <clears throat> you don't really taste the hot Cheetos after you fry them, which is true, but they're still good though. They're still good though. I think it's a fly in here. Something just zipped past my ear or it sound like it did. Where's my dog hiding out in here? Um, last one, y'all. Last shrimp. Hot Cheeto. Fried shrimp. Fried corn. Two thumbs up. Just the tails and cod. That was delicious. Really delicious. Now I'm thirsty. I was thirsty before I started this video. But I didn't want to drink anything before I ate because I get full fast when I drink before I eat. That was just enough to quench my thirst. Hopefully. But if not, I got some Tampico sitting right next to me. I took the rest of it out the refrigerator. Cheers to this meal. Happy birthday, Janine. I got some vitamin water. The wine, we're going to save it for later. We might save the wine for the, the seafood this weekend. So, vitamin water it is. Make sure it's cold. Mm. I told you I was thirsty. I was not lying about that. That's how you drink when you're thirsty. You drink like it's the last drink on the planet. 
That's how you do that. You got no more napkin. That was it. What's under here? I might have some in my stash. Nah, I ain't got no more in my stash. I just dropped something out of my oh, SD card case. Uh, okay. Well, guys, my food is over. And I don't want to spend the rest of the night making a long video. So this one is going to be really short. I'm already at the 20 minute mark. So this is going to be less than 30 minutes. Excuse me. Excuse me. It was good. If you have never tried the hot Cheeto fried shrimp and the fried corn, make you some. Google or YouTube how to make it in different ways. You don't have to do what I did, which I said in the beginning of the video, what I did, what I seasoned it with. I'm not going to go into it again about what I did. It just go back, or is it this way? Go back to the beginning of the video and, or just YouTube your own recipe or find a recipe on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, Once again, shout out to the YouTube world. And um, for those of you who are going to be watching this, please subscribe to this channel. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys. It's been real. I will see you guys later. Mwah.